We have declared Englewood a terrorist-free zone. Rather than having, uh, rather than having us kiss the hands of Gaddafi, the way Al Megrahi did on international television when he was released from Scottish prison, we have told the Libyan dictator to kiss a bold part of our New Jersey anatomy. And we have, we have made it clear that he's not welcome here and they should sell this property and move on. I don't want the Libyans as my neighbor. Until such time as I know that nine, my nine children who are living here are safe from Libyan intelligence officials who can move in there at any time with impunity because they have diplomatic immunity in that house next door. They don't deserve it. I do not want him here. For all we know, this is a safe house that's going to be used for other illicit conduct and we already have challenges with the United Nations on U.S. soil anyway. I do not want him here in our city. And honor the memories of not only the 270 victims of Pan Am Flight 103, but of all of those who have found themselves victims of terrorism. As a nation, we just simply cannot host Colonel Gaddafi. He is not welcome here, any more than any other terrorist would be. But yes, Gaddafi is very much a terrorist and ordered the bombing of Pan Am 103. Mr. Gaddafi is not welcome in New Jersey.